welcome to itrafik in today's video we are going to learn how we can do how we can display this uh, pattern by using nested loop in c programming in this is question number e of chapter 5 1e in previous video i have already done but there was uh, one silly mistake in the last loop so let's do the program again first uh, let's remove the previous command or code now we'll also remove the inside statements here first we'll take variables we need four variables i this is for number of lines j for spaces k for the first triangle and p for the next triangle after that we'll have to give semicolon now we will define the number of rows for that we'll write 4 here we'll write i equal 1 and semicolon i less than equal to here number of rows how much how many rows we required suppose we need 5 rows then we'll write 5 and i will be plus plus after that we'll add the parenthesis or brackets and inside the bracket we'll add another for loop this one for loop for spaces here we'll write at first line we'll need four space as we have number of lines are five second line we need three spaces and so on so we will write i sorry here j equal one j less than equal to five minus i five minus i means at first time the i value will be 1 so 5 minus i it will be 4 so we'll get 4 spaces again we'll add a here semicolon after that j plus plus now inside this loop we'll add one printf statement and just add one blank spaces so printf just you will add two blank spaces and after this for loop we'll add another for loop that one for the first triangle here we are going to use variable k k equal as we are going to write one one two one two three so we'll write k equal one then k less than equal to i then k plus plus after that we'll add the parenthesis and within the parenthesis we'll print the value of k so printf statement you will write your percent d and one space now this is for our first triangle now let's see whether the first triangle display or not so we'll add one more printf statement within the main for loop in within the outer for loop which is for number of rows here just we'll add slash n and outside the outer for loop we'll add return zero statement return zero now let's run there is some mistake we have not defined the here value of percentage d so it will be k so you can see the first triangle 
is here now we have to display the second triangle for that what we will do we will write another for loop there we are going to use variable k so for here we are going to use p p equal here the our value of p should be means at the first line the triangle should not be appear and from the second line it will like uh, 1 then 2 1 like that meaning in descending order so we'll write p equal 1 then semicolon p greater than 1 because we don't require do we don't have to display the value of p in the first line or first low row that's why p greater than 1 then or oh here not p equal 1 here p equal i then p minus minus in first line we don't require anything so i will be 1 so it will skip second line we have to display this one time so it will be this then third line two times so and so on so we can write here p minus minus and inside this for loop we are going to add uh, display the value of p so one printf statement here we are going to write person d and the location is p now let's run something is wrong it should be greater than actually now here one mistake is there that second row it should be 1 2 1 but it displaying 1 2 2 then 1 2 3 so for to overcome from this problem will this do what at printf statement will write p minus 1 now let's run the program now you can see the output is 1 1 2 1 1 2 3 2 1 means all the numbers are in a form of palindrome palindrome means uh, it is a number which we reverse it still look like same we have one more way to do this to do this uh, inside the loop only we'll write here p i minus 1 then p greater than 0 then what happened first line as the value of p will be 0 only means 1 minus 1 0 and 0 is not greater than 0 so the first line will be skipped and second line it will be like i will be already 2 so 2 minus 1 it will be 1 and 1 is greater than 0 so it will run so also it will work and from the printf statement we are going to remove the minus 1 so let's see so we are getting the similar output so whatever method is easy for you that one you can do it this is the program i hope you have understood and thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye